Anonymous Watch Guy here with an unboxing and overview video. Quick wrist check, wearing the Hamilton Khaki Field Expedition. Stay tuned for a full review on that one soon. Today I have a watch from a micro brand that I have uh, experienced some other watches before but never owned one and they make some quality watches. Of course we're talking about Sal Baltimore. You can see the branding here on the watch, Baltimore Watch Company. This is a newer release from them. Uh, I managed to find one pre-owned for a good price. Inside you've got uh, some literature. This has the warranty card on it. Uh, these are limited to 50 of each color. This is number 48. Comes in a really nice leather watch roll. Kind of an orange camo watch roll. Again, with your Baltimore Watch Company branding. Uh, really premium packaging, premium presentation from uh, Sal Baltimore. Really a big fan of the watch roll they get, give you with the watches. Uh, they are snap uh, watch rolls as well. Very nice. And of course, we have in here the brand new Balt Pilot World Timer. Now, this watch is named after a World War II era plane the Martin 187 Baltimore, also known as the Balt. Uh, so this watch is named for that plane. It is a pilot's watch. It is also a GMT watch. Uh, this is running the Seiko NH34, so it's a collar GMT. But really like the look of this watch. This is the DLC version. Beautiful crimson dial, beautiful sunray crimson dial. I'm going to wipe off. I think I got a smudgy on the crystal there. I'm going to give that a good wipe off there. Uh, looking nice there on camera. Definitely like this one initially. This is a 40 millimeter watch. You do have a 20 millimeter lug opening. It is 48 millimeters lug tip to lug tip. You do have a screw down crown there at the three o'clock position. This does give you 200 meters water resistance. Very large, oversized crown, uh, nine millimeters is what I measured the crown at. Very easy to operate, good grip on it. You've got a airplane logo, the bolt there on your screw down crown. This is a boxed and domed sapphire crystal. Check out that boxed and domed crystal. Man, that is a beauty. Love the look of that sapphire crystal there. Does have some very nice anti-reflective treatment gives you a shot of that beautiful uh, sun ray red crimson dial really a big fan of the look of that watch uh, it is 15 millimeters thick with that big boxed sapphire crystal on there does give you a little bit of thickness uh, and uh, as i mentioned this is running the seiko nh34 movement uh, which they did uh, do regulate in-house, and it's got a custom rotor and everything on it. We will take a look at that here momentarily. This is all titanium. You've got a titanium case. You've got a titanium bracelet. Uh, very, very lightweight. Uh, this is the DLC titanium version. So this is all DLC coated. So you've got your diamond light coating. Uh, and not only is it DLC coated, it also is they have a hardened coating or a hardening coating that they put on their watches that makes it scratch resistant to 1,200 Vickers. Uh, so basically almost impossible to scratch this watch up with the DLC and with that uh, hardness coating on there. Uh, this one's really going to hold up for you uh, very well. Beautiful crimson dial. That Sunray crimson dial looks really, really good. You've got your uh, Baltimore Watch Company logo there beneath the 12 o'clock position. You've got your 12, nine, 3, and 9 kind of oversized, smaller indice number numerals at each one of your other hour markers. And then you've got your Balt Pilot World Timer there above the 6 o'clock position. You've also got your date window down there at the 6 o'clock position. Baltimore, Maryland down there as well. Big broadsword style handset uh, you would see on a Flieger or Pilot style watch. Really like the looks of that. Got a nice orange tip on your seconds hand out there as well. And then Baltimore also done in orange up there at the top on your world time bezel with your cities listed. 
Uh, you do have a screw down crown up here that operates your inner rotating bezel uh, that does carry the Baltimore Watch Company logo or crest. Uh, but a nicely done finish on the DLC coating. Uh, looks really nice. Got a cool case shape, a little bit of a different case shape. It is a little bit chunky, but those lugs do curve down. 48 millimeters lug to lug, so you've got a sub 50 millimeters lug to lug. Plus your lugs curve down, so this is going to work well for a lot of wrist sizes. This also does have... Uh, CX-1 Swiss Super Luminova is going to blow glow a nice bright blue. We're going to check out the loom on this puppy here momentarily. Uh, as I mentioned, this is all titanium, so very lightweight. The bracelet is also titanium. It is signed Baltimore Watch Company on the clasp. Twin trigger deployant. It is all milled. You do have push... Uh, Ooh, I'll try to do it on camera there, but it does. There you go. Easy adjust on the bracelet there on your push to adjust. And then on the back, you do have quick release on the bracelet there as well. And then you've got a sapphire crystal also on the back of the watch with your custom Baltimore Watch Company logo there. And they've got this nice orange ring in the inside there again, showing Baltimore Watch Company. Makes that NH34 a little more attractive. NH34s aren't the most attractive movements in the world, uh, but this one does look nice. They did a good job of adding a little bit of decoration to it, but really nicely finished in this all black DLC on the titanium. It looks really good. I think the black looks really good against that deep sunray crimson dial. I think this is a very attractive watch. Uh, I definitely like the look of it. Uh, definitely, there's a lot going on on the dial with the world time uh, and your uh, indices and your 24-hour track running around the inside. There's definitely a lot of print on the dial. Uh, but it is fairly legible at a glance with your big, broad, sword-style handset there. I think that, uh, that it does work. You've got that gorgeous boxed and domed sapphire crystal. I'm just a fan of the way this watch looks initially. Uh, let's take a look at what the loom on the watch looks like, and then we'll check it out on my seven and a half inch wrist. Here you can see the loom on the watch. You've got a nice blue glow. You can see that big broad sword style handset very nicely. All your numerals are loomed. Your minute track out there is loomed. And also uh, the cities on the world time bezel also loomed. Uh, very nicely done on the loom on this one by the Baltimore Watch Company. Uh, really good job. Uh, very legible in the dark. Loom looks like it's going to be fairly long-lasting. Uh, loom is a winner on this one. Here's the watch on my 7.5-inch wrist. You can see it wears very nicely. Uh, that DLC titanium looks really good. Again, 40 millimeters, sub-50 millimeters lug to lug. It's going to work on a lot of wrists. Check out that big boxed sapphire crystal. That looks great as well. Again, uh, full retail price on this watch is $750, US and that may seem a little bit pricey for a watch which, with an NH34 movement. Uh, but keep in mind, this is all titanium. It's DLC treated. It is got a hardness coating on it. Uh, you've got uh, just premium build quality. Uh, comes in that premium watch roll. Uh, it is a regulated at Baltimore Watch Company as well, the movement. So when you get one of these in hand and see how premium it is and, and kind of see the total package, you can see the value and you can see where your money goes. Uh, but definitely a fan of this one. Uh, the Sal Baltimore Bolt Pilot World Timer. Definitely like this one. If you liked the video, give me a like. Maybe subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.